Hello guys, uh, it's Mike back with another fragrance review and today we're going to be talking about Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. Um, this is a blind buy 100 ml bottle, 3.4 ounce, um, very nice packaging. I ordered this um, from a newer site, um, actually uh, e-discount perfumes, uh, like I said, never never heard of them they're out of uh, Texas so anyway um, this just came in came in pretty quick I was really impressed with that I have a couple more that are coming and they, I don't know they've just been delayed got caught up in New Jersey or something but uh, gift Express I ordered CK one shock and um, then a company out of California I ordered um, gas 1981 Los Angeles and I know that's supposedly uh, some sort of a clone of um, clone of uh, Versace Heroes, but that's okay. That's all right because it was less than twenty dollars. Now this one I found on this site, E Discount Perfumes, for like okay for thirty eight or thirty nine dollars. I could have got a tester, which would come without this beautiful velvet box. This is nice. So, yeah, this is the first time I've ever gotten a velvet box. This is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not, you know, it, it's it's not just a paper box. This is actually coated in velvet. Um, I'll probably keep this box. Anyway, um, anyway, I picked this one up, and it was only like $1.50 more for the full presentation. That's why I didn't even get the tester, so I decided to just get this one. But, wow, what a nice box. Anyway, um, this is, let's see what the accords of this are. All right, uh, Paco Rabanne XS, pure XS for men, um, is a vanilla, warm, spicy, sweet, amber, woody, alcohol, aromatic, cinnamon, balsamic, citrus type fragrance. Wow, you know, I was kind of curious, why is this bottle so heavy? Look how much glass they put in the bottom there. This is a huge bottle. I mean, look at this thing. Um, and, uh, let's see, it's ice cold. It's snowing here in Michigan. I just got this out of the mailbox. Um, okay. This one doesn't have the, the lid that, you know, with the hinge on it. I noticed that some of them do. This one does not. Maybe it's the smaller bottle that does. Anyway, um, all right. So. It depends on where you get this guys. I'm going to tell you. Fragrance X has it for $64.25, Joma Shop $64.99, eCosmetics.com $84.99. Um, let's see. This is best for colder weather, spring, fall, and night over day. Um, it was released in 2017. Um, and Flippo and Carolyn Dumar and Bruno Jonovic. Uh, top notes are ginger, thyme, grapefruit, bergamot, and green accord. The middle notes are vanilla, liquor, cinnamon, leather, and apple. And the base notes are myrrh, sugar, cedar, woody notes, cashmere, and patchouli. Um, so, you know, I'll let you know, like I said, this is a blind buy. The only reason I grabbed it is because I saw it so much cheaper than the other sites. And... Um, it is definitely something I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite a while. Um, inside the cap, there's a PR way deep inside. You're not going to see it, but it's there. You can see that. The presentation's really nice. The bottle's super thick and super heavy. Anyway, let's see if uh, I can pick out these notes. So right off the bat, I should be, be picking up ginger, thyme, grapefruit, bergamot, and the green accord. Okay, yeah. Definitely got all that going on. The vanilla, the liquor, the cinnamon. You can pick that up right away too. Even the cedar wood. Woody notes, cashmere, and patchouli, and myrrh. Wow, this is definitely a sexy fragrance, guys. I'm telling you. Definitely a good one.
another keeper and um, lately you know I've had some landmines with the blind buys but uh, this one I actually really like wow pure excess Paco Rabanne yeah this is definitely some good stuff here guys wow smells real nice wow so this has got a uh, moderate silage and um, it's long lasting um, wow let me tell you if you can get your hands on that one I'd grab that this make a great gift for Christmas wow this is beautiful Wow, I've, I've had some good ones in the last few days. I've been picking up some really good ones. I'm real happy with that. Um, there's a lot of decent rev reviews out there. Uh, it says here, Mokia says, uh, I'm not a big fan of boozy scents, but this one has a great combination of vanilla, uh, cocoa, uh, kind of boozy vibe at the opening, which is very inviting and warm, especially for colder nights. And the dry down gets some woody notes, which makes it even more enjoyable. Pure Excess is absolutely a love for me which uh, has unique scent with excellent performance 10 hour longevity two to three hours of solid projection um here's another one leah leah um says i love this so much my boyfriend wore this when we first met and it takes me right back every time and uh it's really cozy blah 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 opens with a licorice vibe okay i didn't think of that before it says cloud pre, uh, crowd pleaser and cold weather only. Right now, I've been kind of trying to pick up some uh, more colder weather scents. So def definitely the, give this one a go, guys. I'm telling you. I'm not going to waste too much time on this, but uh, uh, I like it a lot. A lot. You know, it reminds me of something. I got to tell you. It really reminds me of something I just had on the other day. I, I got, you know, I, okay. It does remind me of Versace Eros a little bit because of the vanilla. But Versace Eros is just different. Um, this is a little heavier, definitely a little heavier and, um, Sweeter, maybe? But wow, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, so far, I have not seen a negative... Uh, a negative one. You know what? Here's, here's something. It may... Uh, okay, this is a negative one. And for all fairness, let's just read this one. I can also get the faint hint of a urine ammonia type smell as someone said in a previous review, but mostly it smells like flowers to me. Old flowers. I've washed my hands three times and I can still smell it. I got this in Paco Rabanne five piece sample kit. Just wanted to add, if someone was standing near me wearing this, I would move away, I dislike it that much. So I'm not sure what note in it, I don't like it. So, okay, you know guys, there's always, um, always that but uh but no i don't pick up a urine smell at all yeah i, I don't know there, you know uh there are a couple of negative reviews but like i said you know a lot of people give it an eight out of ten um and um so there's a lot of lengthy reviews on here but like i said I, i'm not going to waste any more of your time with that um if you're looking for a decent blind buy actually it, it's it's a great blind buy um you're not going to go wrong with this one, but I would tell you this. It's it's a heavy, sweet <sighs> fragrance, but it's very attractive, very intoxicating, very, very much. You're just going to want to keep smelling it. But I'll, I'll put this up there with uh, Versace, Eros, that type of fragrance. Um, it's, it's got a youthful vibe, kind of playful, but at the same time, it's, it's sexy and um, masculine. 
when I say masculine, let me tell you this though. It, um, it's a crowd pleaser, you know, at the same time. So like it does have some qualities to it. Like, uh, you know, that, I don't know. I really don't know how to put it into the terms. It's just a great overall fragrance, kind of like all around, you know, I would stick to colder weather with this one because this one here, three or four sprays of this, it's going to fill up a room real quick. But uh, definitely likable, definitely a great one to have. Um, I totally recommend this one right here. So it gets a thumbs up from me, blind buy worthy. Um, if you could pick it up from E, what was it, E Discount? Yeah, E Discount Perfumes.com. I picked this up for $40 actually like 40 41 dollars um and it was free shipping and it came within i think about five days so anyway guys that's paco rabanne's pure excess um definitely a good pickup looks like it's uh made in paris so all right we'll see you next time good luck with your purchases